Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. Who's ready to get hot and spicy? <laughs> Who's ready to get hot and spicy? I'm not quite sure how you say this, but uh, nicen or... Nicen so sounds like a poison. <laughs> anyway, so I was uh, down at my local store and I saw this on the... Look at that high-res photo there. Saw this on the shelf, uh, and I figured, hey, let's let's go. Why not? So we've got the hot and spicy Firewalk molten chili chicken flavor with six peppers. <laughs> um, so yeah, apparently this is like really hot, and we're gonna try it. So they have a couple of other flavors. So this is like apparently the highest spice rating that they give. I don't know. Sizzlin' Rich Pork is, is four, uh, and Scorchin' Sesame Shrimp is five. So this is the full six peppers. I don't know why out of six, but um, there we go. But uh, yeah, we're going to try this out, see if it's actually hot, and you know, kind of go from there. Nutritional information if you're interested in that. Uh, there's the ingredients list if you're interested in that. And... Preparation instructions, if you're interested in that, they do uh, advise microwaving this. So there we go. Let's open it up and see kind of what it looks like under the hood. All right. Yeah, it looks, uh, looks like some good noodles. Might be a little bit fatter. We've got, uh, you know, blend sesame seeds and some spices and looks like little carrots and stuff. We've got the, uh, this feels to be the actual flavoring packet, so probably the chicken flavoring. And then the fire sauce. <laughs> Add after microwaving noodles. Hmm, interesting. Well, I'm going to put this together real quick. We'll come back and try it out and see if it is actually as hot as they say. All right, and we're back. So, after microwaving it with the required amount of water, it definitely tightens up a ton, like a ton. So this is not a uh, soupy noodle dish at all. I know that there are some people who got a little <clears throat> irritated with one of my, uh, one of my noodle reviews uh, in that I made it more soupy than what it should have been. And we have our packet. I'm actually interested to taste this without the fire, uh, just to see what it sort of is like here in its kind of natural state. Ooh, short noodles. Interesting. Yeah, it seems like very short noodles. So let's try it straight up first, and then we'll try it with the fire sauce. Mmm. Um... Um, it's okay. It's not bad. It actually has a little bit of spice to it there. That's okay. That's not bad. Um, it's a little sweet, which is interesting. Like, there's some definite sugar in there. All right. Now let's add a, oh, oh, it's, oh, it's like blood. Ah, oh, they tricked me. They tricked me into just adding blood. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's just coagulated blood. <laughs> Look at it. It's just blood. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, there's some heavy, heavy dye in that. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay, let's give it a good mix first so I don't get just one packet of fire here. I think that should be good. Let me give it a smell. Mmm. Okay. Well, here we go. People of YouTube. Let us try our noodles and see if it really is fire. Mm. 
One, tastes like butt. It's not terrible. It's not good. Um, yuck. Wow, that is gross. <laughs> the noodles are fine. After adding that, though, it tastes like burnt hair. Let's get a little bit more. Let's power through. Um, is it hotter? Yes, it is hotter. Oh, boy, oh boy, this is going to give me heartburn. It's just like an overdose of cayenne pepper. And it, it, it gives you a little bit of dragon breath, you know, from the bowels. Fly, you fools. Oh. Yeah, but it's not crazy hot though. It's I'm not like running for something to rinse out my mouth. But it is it is a it, actually I'll tell you. I imagine what that is. That's got to be like capsaicin, just the extract I would assume, which is not a good flavor. It's not really flavor. It's more like a challenge, and we've done stuff like that before. It doesn't it doesn't have a good flavor to it. The noodles before were serviceable. I don't think it was the greatest in the world flavor, but with that, it turns into a pretty bad flavor. And that heat does kind of stick with you. I would say cumulatively, if you were to power your way through this entire bowl of noodles, um, it probably would be quite hot. Clear the sinuses, start sweating. But overall, till it hits the back of your throat weird, but um, it's just, it's not a good taste. It's not like a huge challenge either. So I, I've had spicier ramen, 100% have had spicier. But uh, if you're going to do something like this, make it taste good. If you're not capable of that, meh. But there we go. So again... Hot and spicy, nice and maybe Neeson, uh, Firewalk, Molten Chili Chicken. A um, little bit disappointing. I thought it would be hotter. Uh, and the flavor is pretty, pretty not good. So there we go. Have any of you tried this? If you have, in the comments below, I'd love to hear from you. Did you think it was crazy spicy or am I just mouth dead? <laughs> is my mouth just dead? Either way, leave it in the comments. And leave suggestions for future videos. Love hearing from you. If you'd like to see something reviewed on the channel, the P.O. Box is in the description, as is the Patreon link if you'd like to support the channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one. See ya.